Hey guys, my name is Sarah, this is what Shaw said, and welcome to my closet. I had posted a while back my first makeup declutter video, and I think I mentioned it at the time, but I was inspired to post that video and also this one by Jessica Lee. She had um, introduced me to the idea of the men's game several months back. And what the men's game is, or the minimalist game is, um, it is basically decluttering your life and attempting to lead a more minimalist life. Now, I do not profess to be a minimalist. I don't think I ever will be a minimalist. However, I have mentioned to you guys several times that we really need to declutter our house. Um, my husband and I got married about six months ago and we have constantly been trying to combine all of our things to um, not be so cluttered and cramped and just living with a bunch of stuff. So. In that vein, I decided to go ahead and pull out some things from our closet, mostly my side of the closet. Um, but essentially what the minimalist game is, you start on day one, it's a 30 day challenge, you start on day one and you declutter one item. The second day you declutter two items, the third day three items, and so on, until you get to the end of the 30 day challenge. I believe by the end of 30 days you will have decluttered either like 435 or 465 items, something like that. Um, I was afraid that I couldn't stick with a 30 day challenge. Um, and also I didn't know if I had 465 items to declutter, but I knew that I could declutter at least 50 items. So that is what I have done. I have pulled 50 things. Most of them are, like I said, from my side of the closet. There are a few non um, clothing items here that I'm gonna go ahead and show you first, but I wanna go ahead and show you um, what I was able to pull and I would like to possibly make this a monthly thing. Um, I don't know if I can pull 50 things every single month, but that would definitely go far towards clearing up some space around here. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm gonna be decluttering today. First, I'm gonna start with a few non-clothing items, and this is simply an old glasses case. I do wear glasses, um, when I'm not filming, typically the lighting that I have in my filming room kind of messes with the, the lenses, but I do typically wear glasses other than that. So these were from an old pair that I had. I tossed the, I broke the frame, so I tossed them and now I just have um, an empty case that I don't need. So I'll be getting rid of that. I will be getting rid of these two discs that came with my old um, MacBook. One of them is iLife 11. I don't know what iLife 11 is. And the other is Mac OS X 10.7 Lion. And I'm pretty sure we're about 45 versions past that. So I don't think we need those anymore. And then also I'm just gonna be getting rid of two empty um, CD cases as well. Next, I am so sad to say, I'm going to be parting with Shaleen. This is the Turbo Jam Fat Blaster DVD, and the copyright on this DVD is 2006. So I think I have actually had this for 12 years. However, I now have a membership to Beachbody On Demand, and so I can just log into my account through our Apple TV, so I don't need um, the extra DVDs around anymore. So I'm gonna be passing that on. I have a makeup item that did not make it to um, make it into my makeup declutter. This is the Eyes Lips Face, um, just one of those huge e.l.f. palettes that they used to have years back. I had thought at one point about passing this on to my oldest niece. She is 11, but it is so old that I think we might just have to go on a little makeup shopping spree um, because this uh, it's past its prime. Next, I have, whoops, almost dropped it. Um, next, I have this warmer, it's a scent warmer thing. Um, I actually got this as a gift two Christmases ago. It has this, um, like, jelly 
thing in it and it goes on top of this little light here. It turns on and off with this switch just like a Scentsy warmer, but I have plenty of Scentsy warmers. As I said, I got this as a, as a gift two Christmases ago from an old boss and I hated that boss. So I certainly don't want to nor need to keep this around my home anymore. Okay, a few more non-clothing things to show you. I have mentioned we are merging our houses, and when I first <laughs> when I first came into this house, all of my hangers or all of my clothes are nicely hung up on gray velvet hangers. My sweet husband had some blue hangers, and he had some peach hangers, and he had some green hangers, and he had these horrid plastic <laughs> hangers. So um, I have now gotten all of his clothes onto black and white hangers, and mine, as I said, are all on gray hangers. So we are going to get rid of these final one, two, three, four, five hangers. Next, I have um, just a few items here to show you, an old pair of my husband's boxer shorts. I've got two old stretched out kind of faded tank tops and I have just a bandana from a little dance number that I was in. Um, it's kind of like luau-ish themed, but I don't think I'll be wearing that anytime soon. I have a dingy old white tank top. This one was actually mine, but I like to replace my tank tops and my plain white t-shirts every couple of years because, you know, otherwise they get kind of dingy. So I have a single boot sock of mine that I will unfortunately be throwing away. And then two pair of socks of my husband's that are just old and holy that he doesn't need any longer. I have two long stretchy maxi skirts. This one is black and white striped. This one is kind of like a khaki color. I used to wear these all the time. You can wear them with t-shirts. You can wear them, you know, just with button-up shirts. Um, you can wear them with lots of things, but the problem is I don't wear them, and I haven't worn them in at least two years that I can remember. So um, I'm just going to probably pass those on to someone and see if they can get better use out of them than I can. Next, I have this old pair of jeans, and I want you to get a load of the stitching on th those pockets. Um, in a former life, I was something of a cowgirl, and these are very reminiscent of that phase in my life. And uh, that doesn't really fit with my um, style now. It doesn't really fit with my lifestyle. So I will be parting with those. I also have this hot pink blazer. Um, it's like a three quarter sleeve or a half, um, a short sleeve blazer that I got from a boutique here in town. I really like their clothes, but this is just not flattering on me. I think it's too big or something. Um, it just, it, it's not a flattering cut on me. I have an old pair of white skinny jeans that is now dingy and needs to be thrown in the trash. So I will be getting rid of those. These two make me really sad. These are both, um, this is a couple of pair of really cool yoga pants. These are Ralph Lauren, they're like a heather gray, and these are um, old navy, they're like a camo kind of a pattern. Um, both of these fit really funny. The old navy ones are a compression style, and I need to get like three sizes bigger in the compression because otherwise they just, I can't breathe. And then these um, I got at like Ross or TJ Maxx or something, and they don't fit right. So I will be parting with those as well. In my opinion, if yoga pants are not comfortable, what is even the point, right? <laughs> okay, I've got some work shirts here. This one is just a black and white shirt um, that I've had for years. I don't really wear this style anymore, and um, so I will be parting with that. This is another kind of a baseball style t-shirt that I got from a boutique in town. Um, and I just find that it's not very flattering on me, so I'll be getting rid of that. And then this is a um, an Air Apostle baby doll tee that I got from my sister. I don't have any business wearing baby doll tees any longer, so I will be getting rid of that as well. Next, we've got some jerseys and some sports t-shirts. Um, this is my 
uh, number nine Tony Romo Cowboys jersey. He has since retired, and I am not the biggest Cowboys fan, so I'll be parting with that. A Texas Longhorns dry fit t-shirt. This is actually really comfortable, but my all of my in-laws, that entire side of the family, are huge Baylor Bears fans, so I have a feeling if I ever showed up wearing this, I would no longer be invited to Christmas dinner. And then I also have a Texas Rangers t-shirt. This was, I think, my first Texas, um, or my first Rangers t-shirt that I ever bought. And it's just a little bit misshapen now and kind of faded and um, just time to part with that one. Another um, t-shirt that I'll be parting with, this is just a little gray, or sorry, brown t-shirt that I got from a vendor when I was working at a restaurant. We used to have, you know, I've got all kinds of t-shirts that have like beer slogans on them or liquor slogans or whatever, and I don't need to be wearing those out in public any longer. Um, here is another, I'm really sad about this because I really like this shirt. It's a long tunic style shirt with baseball sleeves, um, again from the boutique in town, but this is not flattering on my particular body shape, so I will... Um, maybe be reselling that. I don't know. Otherwise, I'll just donate it. Um, a little gray tank top that I loved, but I have outgrown. And a little green hoodie that I got from my sister. This is actually really cute, and I've kept it for years, although I've never worn it, um, because I just thought it was so cute. But, um, I mean, it's a short-sleeved hoodie, so normally if you're going to wear a hoodie, it's because it's cold and you're going to need long sleeves. So that kind of is its own moot point. All right, I've got some more t-shirts here. Just a plain white tee. As I said, I like to um, kind of just toss out and start over with my white t-shirts every couple of years because they do get dingy. This one was a t-shirt from a church campaign that we did. And then this one is another one I'm kind of bummed about. This is a, it's a black baseball tee, but the baseball sleeves, instead of regular baseball sleeves, it's actually black lace. I used to wear this with a cute little black leather skirt that I had. Um, but it is from Forever 21, and as you probably know, the quality is not super awesome. So it has just shrunk and gotten shorter, and it's no longer appropriate for me to wear any longer. <laughs> so um, I have two more of these long sleeve um, kind of tunic type shirts from the boutique in town. I do really love their clothes. I just find that some of them are not super flattering on me. Um, so these are two that, like I said, I might resell them in the buy sell trade group or I will just um, get rid of them, put you know, donate them, send them to Goodwill or something. Next, I have this very thick, very comfortable hoodie, but it is from a restaurant I used to work at, and um, it's a size extra large, and I don't know how I ended up with an extra large sweatshirt. Um, next, I have another, this was another, a duplicate tee of that church campaign that we did, and then just an old navy tee. Again, it's baby doll tee. I don't wear that style anymore. Let's see here. I'll show you this one first. This is just an oversized tee that I bought from Old Navy. I think this was maybe last summer or the summer before. It's supposed to be like the boyfriend style, kind of slouchy, but I just find that this looks sloppy on me. Um, I do have another one. It's right here, actually. Um, this one, this black and white striped one, you may have seen me wear this one. They're supposedly the same style, but I just find that this one is so much more flattering than this pink one. So um, I'll be keeping the black and white striped one, and I am, am going to be parting with the pink one. All right, y'all. So I mentioned I was a little bit of a cowgirl. I have proof. <laughs> so this is a, it's one of those burnout tees, you know, it's kind of like see-through and um, you, if you're very daring, you can wear it with just a bra underneath. I always wore it with a cami underneath, but it is like this whole design is bedazzled and then it says Las Vegas in bedazzling down here. Um, yeah, I went to Vegas like 10 years ago, I think, and um, I don't wear this style anymore. Um, here's another example of my former cowgirl ways. I don't know if you can read what that says. It's all in, again, bedazzling, um, and it says sinful. Wait till you see this part. This is amazing. 
It's bedazzled angel wings. Yes, bedazzled angel wings on the back of my t-shirt. No longer really appropriate for me to wear that. And the mother load. This is incredible. Um, this is, this t-shirt was so expensive. And I'm sure it's because there's, it's heavy too. I'm sure it's because there's so much material that went into this. Um, it's just a, like a little printed t-shirt. It says rodeo and there's like a little cowboy dude on it. Um, but then the entire front is all bedazzled. Um, yes, this was, I would wear this out in public and I was hot stuff. Let me tell you. Um, it's just not part of my lifestyle anymore. <laughs> so I think, yes, that is actually all that I had to show you. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, let me know, like I said, I do want to try to do more of these declutters. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of makeup declutters as I've mentioned before, but I am going to declutter some other parts of our home. So, um, if you like the closet declutters, if you like, you know, if you are participating or have participated in the men's game, please do let me know. Like I said, I am like binge watching all of these videos of people just declutter their home. So um, drop me a comment down below and let me know. And um, be sure to subscribe and like this video on your way out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon. And until I do, have a great day.